This morning in Legal Logic, we are thinking safety first, particularly when it comes to students and seat belts. Here to explain it all is Brian Cuna of Brian Cuna and Associates. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Will. Thanks for coming. How are in. you? So yes. we're actually talking about school, uh, seat belts on school buses. Right. And I, re I remember being a kid. You'd get on these school buses. There weren't any seat belts. And a lot of times you hear debate: should there be seat belts on them or shouldn't? What do you right. think? Right. There's pros and cons all over the country with right. regard to seat belts, and it, it all came to, to four. Recently, we, we read about that school bus yeah. in, in Taunton, that, that actually Berkeley, that tipped over. Right. Even though they weren't students, there were a lot of young kids, but 23 people were injured on that bus. The national, there's been a national discussion about seat belts on buses that have go back several years, mm -hmm. but it's become more to the fore lately. There's 29 states that have now introduced at least legislation to discuss it, but there's only eight states in the country that actually have laws that regulate seatbelts. Oh, only wow. eight states. Wow. But they're, but, they're, but they're odd laws. For example, in New York City, you have to have seatbelts, but you don't have to necessarily put them on. <laughs> New Jersey is the only <laughs> state in the country that requires seatbelts and makes, makes the students put them on. Right. The biggest, the biggest con in terms of seatbelts is the cost, believe it or okay. not. Okay. It costs $15,000 per bus to retrofit a bus and put seatbelts. So many, many towns and cities and states are very reluctant to put seatbelts on. The other practical problem is that, is that the number of fatalities and injuries but kids on seatbelts is relatively low okay. compared to other accidents. In other words, you're 10 times more likely to get a hurt a car accident on a school bus. And you know what, one of the other things I was reading and I, and I heard too is a lot of these places don't want to put them on. It probably is but because of money, but also it's they're money. saying a lot of kids, God forbid there is an accident, may not be able to release the belt in time. That's right, that is one of the cons, that the kids, A, they can't release them in time, something happens, the kids can't get right. out, and also every kid, they're, they're little kids, can they, can they put them on properly? Uh -huh. Do they have to readjust them? It, will the bus driver have to get up or a monitor have to get up for every single kid, 30 kids in a bus? Imagine every time having to readjust a kid, every time a kid comes on or yeah. off the bus. And so that's one of the cons. Obviously, the, 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 the important thing with the got to seatbelts is it is safe. It, it makes the kids safe. Absolutely. And even in, even in cars themselves, when we're driving in a car to make sure that your kid has the seatbelt on and make sure that it's on right, not the band that comes across like flipped over the other side of your shoulder either. The American Academy of Pediatricians has just come out with a statement recently that, that does recommend seatbelts on all vehicles. Mm -hmm. Massachusetts and Rhode Island are two states that do not have any laws with regard to that. However, interestingly, the National uh, uh, Automobile Safety Administration does not recommend them. <laughs> believe it or not. They say that, that buses are generally safe and they right. believe in co compartmentalization. In other words, make the seats stronger, sure. make them smaller, make these uh, resistance seats. So. It's up in the air. Okay. All right. Well, buckle up anyway. If you, okay. As long buckle as you're up. in your car, bu buckle up is the, is the advice. So thanks, Brian, for coming All right. in. All right, and if well. you would like to learn more legal logic, you can head to roadshow.com.